kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I know I took a little bit longer there. Okay, you know, uh, you know when I take, I need to take a little bit longer because the crab brave comes out. But who doesn't love a bit of crab brave, right? Am I right? Kaching and lizard certainly do love it. All right, then, uh, gang, 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 Gucci gang. Uh, let's uh, let's get on with sorting out this bunch of faff that we need to do now. Right, who's holding on to all my crafting material? I think you all are, right? I think you all are. This will help as well, though, because um, we really need to start working on our, cra um, our smithing. We're only on 39 currently. And I could do with getting my armor upgraded to orcish. Not only for uh, the defense, but for the offense as well. Because, uh, as we know, my offense is tied to my armor rating, base armor rating, on my gauntlets. So what do we got? We've got cave bear belt pelts. I can sell these. I can sell these, rather than use them. Because uh, we can't really make anything good right now. With them, anyway. Um, I'm over encumbered as well, which is a problem. Iron ingots, great. We need them. Uh, leather strips I need as well. Uh, I know I'm over encumbered, but let's sell these as well, because I don't really know what they're good for. Um, I can take this silver ingot and use it, because I've got one on me. As long as I keep one, we're okay. Do I need, uh, do I need some jewels? Right, I'll take one. How have I got 20 amethysts? That's bank right there. I'll take one of them because I've got one silver ingot for jewelry. Uh, I don't need to keep hold of flawless uh, amethysts anymore. We've already handed over three to who we need, we were keeping them for. So that's fine. I'll take the ruby and the sapphire as well. Because I don't know what goes into silver jewelry. I can't remember off the top of my head. Where's Sweet Roll? Lydia, have you seen Sweet Roll? Lydia, I really need you to keep track of all of our pets, please. What do you need? No, don't wait here. That's not what I wanted. Come with me. Right, no. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Right. Um. Where's trade? <laughs> I need you to carry something. There we go. Right, iron ingot, ru ruby, sapphire. Brilliant. And then finally, I think you've just got bones and scales on you, right? Bony boy. Oh, you've got an amethyst as well. And iron ore. Nice. Alright, okay. I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff to begin with. Being as you're right there. Got some good, the finest weapons and armor. Right. Um, <clears throat> what can I sell to you, first of all? Sell the ingots. Um, can I... How many ores does it take to make an ingot for iron? Is it just one? Most things is two. But for iron, it might just be one. Uh, keep one of them. I need to drop this Thieves Guild stuff as well. It's taking up a chunk of my weight. Well, I say that, and it doesn't weigh a lot at all. Apart from the armor part. Right, that'll do. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need it. Oh, I need to use this as well. Get out my way. Right, leather, leather, leather. I might need more strips. We'll wait and see, though. What time is it? Are you about to close? No, you're open for a while yet. Yeah, that's fine. Right, leather. The most expensive thing is the armor, right? The scout armor. Um, and then the helmet, I believe. 75. Yeah, the helmet. Cool. Right, and then... Uh, oh, I can make make the jewelry now, right? Only use one of the ingots, though. Uh, what's the most expensive thing? Oh, that takes two? Don't use both of them. Oh, dang it. They all take two. Do you know what? Never mind, then. Forget it. Uh, iron. Iron. Iron daggers. Right, I need... I need strips. I've got a piece of leather, though. That's fine. Uh, 
I know I'm carrying too much gain. Bear with me, I'll sort it out now. Uh, iron. Uh, iron dagger. I can only make four of them, unfortunately. Tell you what, I'll sell all the rest of uh, what's left over. Got some good people looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I'm looking to sell. Right, sell all the ingots and the ore. Uh, sell one of them. Don't sell both of them. All right, that'll do. Uh, cool. I'm still over. Right. Um, Hilda. Can, you can't really carry anything, can you, Hilda? I think you're full. Right. Sweet roll. Uh, carry... Carry a bunch of jewels for me, buddy. To be the best blacksmith in White Run. So... Got that on give them. Steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Flawless ruby I need to keep on me. I could do with turning in a lot of quests as well because there's a lot of stuff in my inventory taking up uh, uh, weight, which are quest items. Um, why have I? St oh, that's what I dropped before. I remember. I've got a lot of torches as well. Probably an unnecessary amount of torches. Right. Okay. Time to go and uh, see our buddy over here as well. Our good friend, Bellathor. Got something for just about everybody in here. Uh, Give a holler if you the have hell? Where am I? Bellathor, my good man. Everything. Take a look. Right. What will you buy from me, my friend? Hopefully, lots of my stuff. Um. Oh, I got to dump that as well. Right. Get rid of that. Oh, he can't afford it. What have you got for sale, buddy? Healing. Uh, have you got any good food? You've got leeks. I mean, I may as well buy them. Uh, miscellaneous. Dang, dude. Why, why do you have such little money? Ooh, bone arrows. That's good for uh, Lydia. And fire arrows. Right, let's build up some of his monies. And hand them over to Lydia. Okay, now. Buy my staff. Yep. Uh, buy... Oh, dang. I thought I had more jewelry than that. Have I got any scrolls? I do. Sell that. Uh, miscellaneous. I could have sold, I could sell him some gems. He's not got a great deal of money left though, so that'll do. do come back. Sorry, my bad. Right, next we want. We're going Arcadia's Cauldron just in case there's anything that we can flog to here. Also, I might be able to make some potions while I'm here. I'm pretty sure I picked up some um, expensive uh, poisons while I was in that player housing. I'm going to make everything that I can as well to increase my alchemy. But at the same time, um, I'll sell whatever I don't need. Fortify Illusion. Ooh. Um... No, keep the salt piles. Salt piles are useful. Hmm. Resist frost again. Oops. Cool. Store Magicka, yes. Hopefully I haven't used any of my death bells. Don't use that. Daedra Heart restores health. Right, put these three in. Damage mat. Da dang it. That was a negative effect. Right. 
There goes my alchemy. Nice. Awesome. Re resist frost is really good to have as well. Right, now the poison should be where the death bell comes into play. Don't use them all. Hopefully we'll... Ooh, fortify mark marksman. I was about to say, hopefully we'll find out some more um, recipes. Damage magicka. Flying up now. Don't use the death bells. Okay. Okay, because we haven't leveled at all this uh, today, have we? What have we got for sale? Take a look. Right. Also, what ingredients do you carry? Do you carry fire salt? You do. You got four. Sweet. Buy all of them. I didn't use any ice wraith teeth that I know. I don't know the uh, the properties of uh, ice wraith teeth just yet. Right. Um, get rid of anything that's got no use to me, or um, has both. Uh, positive and negative effects on it. Uh, enchanters. Right. Poison. Poisons can go as well. Uh, poison. Damage magicka. That can go. Yep, sell them. We're going to make a buck here as well. We're going to make a quick buck. Uh, poison. 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 Oh, we're making so much money. Cure disease is fine. Conjuration spells. Drain the target stamina. Nope, don't want that. Bows. Drains the target stamina. Don't want that either. Um, that... We'll get rid of that, because... Although the fire resistance is good... Um, I'll just sell it anyway because I need to, I can't hoard potions. They take up they end up taking up a lot of your carry weight and two handed's no good to me, so we'll sell them. Plus my speech is flying up now as well. Brilliant. It was well worth coming in here. Illusion we will keep. Pickpocketing I'm gonna keep. Restore fifty five points of health, restore fifty five points of magic That's that's a good good potion. Oh. I kind of need to sell them, but she hasn't got the money. Right, what, f mm, what potions are you selling? Any healing? Healer, not healing. Damage health. A lot of these I've sold to her just now. Potion of healing. Haglin. Uh, these are healing, though. Buy these. Get her money up. There we go. Oh, minor healing. Let's take them as well. May as well. Right. Sell these to you. Because these are worth a pretty penny. For some reason. Uh, right. Fire. Fire. Resist frost damage. And restore stamina. Nice. Resist frost damage. And increase heavy armor skill. Nice. Uh, <laughs> resist frost damage. Uh, weaker to fire. Uh, restore. For, and, okay, we can sell them. No need to hold on to them. Resist frost. Very good. Oh, my TV fell asleep. Just a second, everyone. Sorry. There we are. Alright. Um, resist magic. Um, is 6% really worth it? 6% really worth it. Should I just sell them? Yeah. Because I've got the individual versions as well, right? Like, um, she can't afford that. Shit, maybe not. Resist poison. That's a good potion. Oh, look at that. That's some really good potions. Right. Um, 
Stamina, stamina, stamina. Okay. What was the one? Uh, resist magic, right? Just get rid of them. Because she can just about afford all of them. And then we've cleaned her out. And we made we made a ton of money. And also uh, leveled up some skills as well. Um, I would go through all her stuff and pick up what she's allowing me to pick up. But I can't be bothered. <laughs> Plus, then I'd have just a bunch of ingredients that I could... I, I can't be bothered doing alchemy again. Um, right. Is that it? I think that's it, right? We've sold everything that we can sell. What's Lydia got on here? Surely Lydia's got some bits and pieces that we can sell. Wrong wrong option. Wrong option. Sorry. No, I need you to uh, trade some things with me. She switched shields again. Sworn to carry your Why does she keep doing that? Axel White Run you can keep. Uh, no, you've got nothing to sell. Fine. Cool. Alright. Um, I may as well go and take a rest while we're here as well. Just to get my uh, stuff up. Uh, magic resist stacks with the others and also other magical effects. Oh, really? Okay. Huh? Sorry we are unable to connect to chat. Attempted to reconnect. Oh, it's just over there. It's just having an issue over there. That's fine. Um, where is it? it? says here, welcome to the chat room. Weird. Okay, it's fine. It turns out, I th think it's fine. As long as the stream's fine, because um, as long as it doesn't cut into two like it do did before. Everything's good. Everything's good. Is every everything okay for you guys? I'm getting weird messages in the chat from uh, OBS and the Twitch app. Hopefully everything's okay for you guys out there as well. Let me know if there's any problems. Um, right, let's uh, let's read the rest. Okay, it's good to know that magical resist stacks, uh, Lizard. Thanks for letting me know about that. But um, we've sold all the potions, but that's fine. They were like really small amounts anyway, so... And plus, uh, it's good for my carry weight, and we made a bunch of gold. So, you know, this um, there's pluses and negatives to that. So that's fine. Uh, no fucks given. Um, she always sounds so irritated. Uh, she's a con artist, uh, Arcadia. She always, always, even if you haven't got a disease, she will claim that you look like you're ill uh, because she's trying to sell you cures and stuff. She's uh, she's a sneaky one. She's a sneaky one. Um. <laughs> Seems fine for me. Okay, all right. I hope so. Um, I just got a couple of weird messages on one on OBS saying "Welcome to the chat room." After, um, well, before Lizard uh, told me about the magic resist over there, it says, "Sorry, we're unable to connect to the chat. Attempted to reconnect, and then it says, "Welcome to the chat room." So uh, I was worried that um, there might be something strange going on. But as long as you guys uh, aren't uh, aren't going through anything strange. If and the stream's need, okay. That's how fine. About chopping up some wood for the fire? That's just fine. Um, what have you got for sale? Let's I don't need food, do I? Food. I've got all the food. We picked up a ton of food from um, that house. So I'm going to refrain from buying sure any thing. food. We'll it's just have a rest. I'll while we're here. Room, right this way. Our next destination then is Windhelm, right? If I'm not mistaken. We're gonna make sure all of our uh, stats uh, are okay before we get in the horse and carriage as well, because that drains them as well. Uh, Lizard, how do you tell if a Khajiit is pale and all that fair anyways? That's a very good point. That's a very good point. <laughs> it's like, you, look, you look pale and I'm covered in fur. That's funny, I didn't even think of that. Physio, she needs to get <laughs> laid and tired of being a human backpack. <laughs> right, okay, how how is our, uh, we're peckish, okay. We're peckish. Um, food. That'll do, let's eat some fish. Satisfied, come on. Um, let's have, uh, some apple pie for dessert. There we are, all good. Uh, do the lizard people look pale as well? Um, there are, um, there are pale versions of, um, the, um, Argonians. They are pale versions. I think they have to be born under certain conditions. I think, um... Oh, it's been, I'm a little rusty with Argonian uh, stuff. 
but they have shadow scales as well. Um, and they are sent straight to the Dark Brotherhood to be assassins. <coughs> I, I know, I know about the Khajiits and how the Khajiits are affected by the moons. It depends where the moons are in the sky, depending on how a Khajiit will come out. Because um, Khajiits aren't just like this humanoid form that you only ever see in Elder Scrolls. Um, they're like humanoid uh, versions of Khajiits. There's all sorts of types. There's like large um, sentient versions of saber cats. There's little tiny versions of Khajiits that look like house cats. Um, there's all sorts. And it's all dictated by where the moons are in the sky. The moons are actually a really big deal to the Khajiit. And uh, that's how they uh, got tricked to uh, in signing with, uh, siding with the Aldermary Dominion yeah, right. as well. Because the moons disappeared for a time. And um, the uh, Altmer or the uh, High Elves, they came along and they were like, Oh, we can help you out with that. And they did something to bring the moons back. It was very suspect. Very suspect. And the Khajiit were like, Oh, we'll be part of the Aldermary Dominion again. Because they always were, anyway, um, traditionally. Like in the, in the ESO, which is set in the Second Age, they're part of the Aldermary Dominion there as well. Where but um, that's how they got them to rejoin, anyway. Uh, where are we going? We're going to Windhelm, right? I'm not sure what the um what uh if anything affects um Argonian births, but I know that um they're very connected to the histories. They communicate with the histories. And um I know that um I don't know if that affects their birth though, but like shadow scales. Whenever a shadow scale is born, they're just sent straight to the Dark Brotherhood to train to be assassins. And I'm pretty sure that you can get pale versions as well of uh, Argonians, but don't quote me on that. Uh, we're peckish again, that's fine though, I've got all the food, right? Um, let's just eat... See our final apple cabbage stew. There we go, well fed. Um, wow, uh, hold on, let me catch up with the uh, chat real quick. Um, <laughs> it comes. Oh, they got, for the, yeah, look, looking at the Khajiit's gums, I guess, that could work. Right, I'm falling way behind here. Let me tab over. Uh, or she could smell it. Um, toothpicks, what's up, dude? Welcome. Welcome, buddy. Uh, uh, no fucks given. I haven't played this in forever. I hadn't either um, prior to streaming it. Uh, but since streaming it, we've been playing it for about a year. <laughs> so uh, I I went through the story before, so I'll, uh, I'll go over the short version. Basically, on 360... Um, I had a lot of time on 360 in this game and my 360 hard drive died so I lost everything and it was really hard to pick up the game again after that. Um, so I started streaming it I think for Anniversary Edition, maybe slightly before that, I'm not sure. And um, I got, I fell in love with it all over again, I've been hooked since, it's a, a really good game. I personally prefer Oblivion but Skyrim is amazing as well. Uh, physio, or maybe female intuition, maybe. Maybe. You know, all valid uh, points. Perhaps it's a combination of all of them. Who knows? Who knows? No fucks given. Any news on Elder Scrolls 6 2035? No. It won't be for a long time either, buddy. I think they announced it too early, personally. Because um, they've got Starfield um, to worry about and, and before they even begin development on Elder Scrolls 6. I think um, they've said mul multiple times it's just in pre-production. Which basically means planning. Uh, it doesn't mean that there's any work being done on it as of yet. But with um, Starfield out the way, um, and I suppose maybe like, I don't know, six months to a year of support for that game, possible DLC as well, then we might, uh, then they might start working on Elder Scrolls 6. But um, the uh, general consensus of what people suspect it's going to be is it's going to be set in Hammerfell, which would be pretty cool, with the Red Guards. Um, they got some really cool stuff about them and their lore. Like they've got, um, they're, they're very uh, warrior focused. They magic as well, but they got like um, warriors that summon spirit swords and stuff. It'd be really cool if you had like a faction quest line which gave you that ability or something. Um, I'm hoping that they don't. I'm hoping that they leave the main quest line very vague as well and not like tailored towards the main race of that province. Uh, I get that feeling a little with Skyrim. I get that feeling like um, if you play Skyrim as a Nord, it's a bit more personal to your character and it's a bit easier for role playing. 
but that's just me, I guess. But, uh, yeah, it won't be a long time for Elder Scrolls 6, buddy. Uh, a long, a long old time. A long old time. <laughs> that's when they'll announce it. Oh, God, don't, don't tempt fate, Physio. Don't tempt fate. <laughs> Physio, have to release Skyrim another ten times first. Toothfix, Luke, lurky, lurky. Thanks for the lurk, Toothfix. Appreciate it, buddy. Appreciate it. And uh, Fortnite was hella fun yesterday, dude. It was hella fun. We'll have to play again soon in the future, I guess. Um, Toothix, thank you for the shout out. No problem. Who did that anyway? Physio, thanks for doing that. Thanks for taking care of that, Physio. And uh, you're welcome, uh, Toothix. You always get a shout out here. You know that. No need to thank. No need to thank. Uh, you're welcome, dude. There we go. There we go. Thanks, uh, Physio. Thanks for doing that. Lizard, my guess would have been High Rock. Um, it was between High Rock and Hammerfell, but um, there's very, very clever people out there on YouTube who are obsessed with the, these games. Uh, the majority of them are Australian as well, funny enough. Um, but um, they were comparing maps uh, of both provinces, and um, I think um, it lined up more with Hammerfell. But I don't know, it could be High Rock. High Rock would be really cool as well. High Rock are, uh, that's where the Bretons are from, right? And Bretons are like, uh, they're, they're, they're races like from, uh, they're men, they're human, but they've got elf blood in them. Uh, so they're, um, like, they're like the human race that's more proficient with magic. They're the more magey kind of race. They're also, um, they're also based on like, uh, uh, like French, uh, French history, uh, like Britons as well. So they're the closest thing that you would get to ancient uh, British history, I guess. Uh, and Anglo-French. Anglo-French was what I was looking for. So that would be pretty cool as well. That would be really cool. Uh, Physio Gaming Nerd. It would be so funny if they did a Skyrim remaster. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean, it wouldn't be awful, but it wouldn't be my preference. And um, Bethesda as well have, have already expressed it. They're not interested at all in remastering anything. Anything, them well, themselves anyway. Themselves. I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility for someone else to remaster one of their games. Because, um... Why is the battle music playing? Why The guards are on edge as well. What's here? Is it a dragon? Oh, it's a dragon! It's a dragon! There's a dragon in Windhelm! Okay, this is fine. This is the best place for a dragon to attack, actually, because uh, you've got a ton of backup. You've got all the city guards. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good place to get a dragon attack. Um, the, uh, the bad thing about it for me, though, is I don't have any range capabilities, and this guy is going to just constantly land on roofs. I'm drained as well. That's not a good thing. Did I eat? Did I eat after getting here? I did eat, that, at least. That's fine. Down here, you butt dragon. The best, um, the best place to get attacked by a dragon, in fact, is the College of Winterhold. Dragon has to be really, really dumb to attack you there because it's full of wizards. It's full of wizards, and they'll just they'll just do all their magic. Right, I'm on fire. I don't know why. I think I walked across some fire, and I got set on fire. This guy is not going to be able to land anywhere I can fight it. I mean, I think the city. I think they got this without me. You know, if he lands somewhere where I can where I can punch his lights out and I'll, I'll contribute but I might just go into the inn and have a rest and <laughs> leave him to it <laughs> I'm tempted to where did he land did he land up here he did not oh he's there I can't do anything now I suppose I could use my staff I could maybe knock him off the roof with the staff see if that works I don't Oh, he landed! He landed! Right, stay there. Don't you dare move. He's almost dead as well. They've almost killed him without me. There you go, I finished him off. I, I beat him for you guys! Guys! 
Guys, I killed the dragon for you. What happened? What are you on about? What are you on about keep your distance? I just killed this dragon. What happened here? Oh, this is a quest that we haven't managed to get to activate before. There's a serial killer in Windhelm and you've got to go and catch him. Another? This happened before? We've never got this quest, the pop. And I, to the point where I'd completely forgotten about it, to be honest with you. Are uh, the murders being investigated? I think you get player housing out of this. Or it might be a case that you have to help the people out in uh, Windhelm and then you become the uh, the thing. And then you can buy uh, player housing. That's what I forgot to do in Whiterun. I forgot to buy the um, the farm outside. Never mind. Could you use some help? If you want to help, ask some of these Rich, what's up, dude? You get your shout out in a, bu in a bit, buddy. Two seconds. Do it, you know. Alright, there we go. Um... It would be so funny if they did a Skyrim remaster. It depends what Microsoft want now, though. Um, I think they could just generally let um, Bethesda get on with what they want. The thing is, though, with the situation with Microsoft and Bethesda, is that there's so many um, studios that Microsoft own now, um, like Bla um, X Black Isle and um, In Exile. They're basically um, they're they're the top two that are equipped to make anything Fallout. Uh, remaster related because uh, Obli um, Obsidian are doing a lot lately and Obsidian and In Exile are basically um, they, they've got a lot of ex uh, Black Isle studio developers who were the original creators of Fallout um, when we're talking about Fallout specifically um, so they Obsidian would be primed to remaster um, New Vegas but personally I'd rather them make another Fallout with a, with a spin-off title and not a New Vegas 2 either. I'd rather it be like Fallout subtitle set somewhere else in America. Um, but um, there's loads of studios that they have to do remasters, definitely. I don't think Bethesda would do it because they make games that take them forever to make, um, as we know. You know, that's why I think they were a bit early in announcing um, Elder Scrolls 6 uh, because that that's going to take... A long time in development when they do even get round to making it but um they de microsoft definitely have studios with credentials and enough studios under their umbrella now to just say like look um remaster this uh remaster skyrim remaster uh, oblivion personally as well um before they remaster skyrim i'd rather re remaster of either morrowind or oblivion if they were going to do a remaster of an elder scrolls game um, I think I would want Morrowind because I never played it, and if they remaster that, that would be a good good time to uh, play Morrowind, you know. So um, yeah, I don't think Bethesda themselves will ever remaster any of their games, though. But never say never, though, because like you said, Microsoft could just put someone else on it, you know. Um, that's why uh, a lot of people are like, "Oh, when's the next Fallout game gonna be then?" If uh, Elder Scrolls is after Starfield, that's not gonna be forever and ever and ever. I think, who says the next Fallout game needs to be Fallout 5, you know? Um, they could easily make like a Fallout, say, new whatever state you want and get someone else to do it. That's personally my hopes anyway. It's probably wishful thinking, admittedly, but um, I just don't want to wait like over a decade for another Fallout game, <laughs> personally, personally. And I'd love to see a next-gen Fallout as well. It, I think it could be really cool. Could be really, really cool. And uh, another thing as well is Microsoft paid like 70 billion for Bethesda and all their properties, right? They're not going to pay 70 billion for there to be no Fallout for like a decade plus, you know? <laughs> for there to be no Elder Scrolls for a decade plus. They dropped a lot of money on those franchises. They're going to want to utilize those franchises as well, you know? Um, who, say, who knows? They got id as well. They got id. Imagine what id could do with a Fallout game. That would be crazy. And they also got their tech as well. So they got the id engine as well. So um, if Bethesda don't make the next Fallout or, uh, you know, if, yeah, if they don't make the next Fallout, they don't, have, they don't necessarily have to uh, be uh, tied to um, the Gamebryo engine or whatever they call it these days, which is, I think, the creation engine. 
they could use whatever tech that they have available, which would be cool. Um, Rich, how you doing, buddy? Happy Big Monday, dude. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming along as well. Richie, what would they what would they have done without you? <laughs> exactly, right? I I saved the day there by beating that dragon. Uh, Richie, no worries, man. Uh, just came to hang out. <laughs> you are such a good dude. Thanks. No problem, dude. No problem. Thanks for the kind words as well. Richie, Fallout New New Hampshire. <laughs> I play that game. <laughs> Sounds great to me. I always um so, I always was well, curious I what a British Fallout would be like. I hate this. I know that there's a mod coming out for Fallout oh, for this year, I think. <laughs> Fallout <laughs> London, so and it looks what? really good. It's like a whole oh, DLC-sized uh, Fallout experience. But I was always a I was always curious how Britain would be in the Fallout universe officially, because it would be a it would be a lot different to anywhere in the states. Um, for instance, there wouldn't be as many guns readily available. Um, guns are not really like our, our street. Our police on the streets aren't even armed with guns, so it would be a lot of melee focus, I guess. Vault tech isn't a thing outside of the states either, so I was always curious what it would be like to have a Fallout set in Britain. Uh, you know, because we don't really hear much about um, the rest of the world either um, in the in the Fallout lore, not in detail anyway, not in too much detail. Oh my God, Fall Guys clip for the Fallout talk. <laughs> True. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, though, Rich. Appreciate that. Appreciate you coming to hang out today. And um, question the witness. Okay. And uh, happy Big Monday, everyone. Thanks to everyone who came to hang out today. Yes. What about my clothes, sir? I put them down. I put my hands down. You know, no need to worry. Why is there such a crowd around me? What's going on here? Is it because I killed a dragon and saved you all? Well, you're flipping welcome, all right? Now, where's this witness? I got to go and talk to this witness. Oh my god. There's a bunch of witnesses. What's this over here? Oh, that's the map underneath. Okay, I'm getting confused. Right, first things first. Let's go and... Uh, let's go and talk to these witnesses, I guess. It's good of them to all uh, hang out in the same area, right? You there. This is a shame. Your face is a shame. Uh, sorry. Did you see what happened here? No, sorry, but I did notice that her coin purse was still in America. <laughs> Richard, yeah, it could be interesting to, to see the vault survivor look, uh, looks for friends or family in the UK and makes a vault. Could be sick. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I, um, I'd be interested to see what kind of alternatives they come up with for, because vault tech isn't just connected to the underground vaults. They do a lot of the uh, in-universe technology. Um, like the Pip Boys and stuff as well, oh, so sad. it'd be interesting to see what alternatives would be available to the rest of the world as well. Uh, did you see what happened here? Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. All right, cool. What about you? Another one. Terrible. Ooh, she can train to be a better pickpocket. Um, let's let's give her one one gold piece. We're not exactly breaking the bank with one gold, are we? We're, we're rich these days as well. Like, stupidly rich. Uh, did you see what happened here? I heard a scream and came running. Physio, what would be better ready. would be no more Fallout. Why do you hate Fallout so much, dude? Fallout's a great franchise. I mean, on a personal level, I can respect that, but... You know, a lot of people like Fallout. It'd be nice for them to have something new. Right, where are we going now? Report to the guard? Is the guard in the same place? <coughs> ah. <laughs> why, are they, why are they all going to the same area? Just making it easier for me so I don't have to travel around. I've spoken to the witnesses! Just like always. Nobody saw anything useful. Uh, yes. Physio, I don't really hate it. Fallout 4 just disappointed me. That's fair, dude. That's fair. Uh, Richu, develops Vault Tech in Europe. <laughs> uh, there might be more to this if you'll let me help. Look, friend. If you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, 
be my guest. I need to talk to you or leave though. I am I am Roger Legion, you know, so I'm probably better at this Legion type of thing than you stupid storm cloaks anyway. He's willing. Then we'll talk. I mean I'm not from the Legion. Uh forget I said anything. Right. Report to the guard talk to jo Jaw Leaf. Your leaf, or whatever his name is. Um this guy is oh he's in the palace. Uh that involves that involves going to seeing uh, <gasps> I've got the crown on me as well. Do not turn the crown into Ulfric. I'm actually wearing it. Oh, that's going to be hilarious. Oh, that's going to be so hilarious. I'm going to go and uh, pay a visit to uh, Ulfric Stormcloak wearing this jagged crown. And not give it to him as well. That's going to be hilarious. I do want to play Fallout 3, but probably never will. Um... I recommend I recommend both Fallout 3 and uh, Fallout New Vegas. Um, they both have they both have their strengths though um, over the other ones. Uh, the general consensus on both of those games is that well, a lot of people would consider Fallout New Vegas the greatest game ever made, but it's it's kind of a common thing that people love Fallout New Vegas and absolutely hate Fallout 3. Um, but I would I would give them both a try. I would uh, recommend both of them. Um, most people would recommend New Vegas over it, though. But I definitely recommend both of them. Three was my first Fallout as well, and I I love three the bits. I'll always love number three. It's a very important game to me. It's the game that opened up uh, Elder Scrolls and Fallout to me. So it'll always have a special place in my heart. Uh, a TV series might be interesting. Ah, it's funny you mention that, Physio, because um, they are doing a uh, Fallout TV series. They're filming it right now. Um, it's um, who is it? It's the guys who did Westworld. Uh, they're they're doing it, and I think it's for. Oh, correct me if if anyone knows in the chat. Um, correct, fill in the blanks in my mind, and correct me if I'm wrong. But I think it's Amazon. I think it's going to Amazon. So, uh, yeah, they are doing a TV series. Um, Richard, then they can extend the game verse 2. Uh, Physio Gaming Nerd. I do want to play Fallout 3, but... Oh, I read that. Sorry. Um, I thought I must have missed things before that. Uh, forget the game to a TV series. I have. I've missed loads. Let me tab over and catch up, guys. Because I'm all over the place right now. Shambles. Yeah, there's a lot of leaks uh, for the TV series at the moment. You can find... Um, if, you, um, if you search it... Uh, you can find a lot of screenshots from the sets. They're actually currently filming it as we speak. As we speak, it's, uh, it's filming. Uh, Richard, uh, I'm not usually a fan, a, a fan, but I feel like there... Sorry, I'm not usually a fan, but I feel like there are so many stories that can be told in that universe that don't have to follow the main storylines. 100%. It's a very vast universe, um, and there's so many different factions and uh, places and stories to be told in uh, the Fallout universe. Um, it's, just an, it's just an alternate timeline to our own. It's just where they invested in uh, nuclear fission um, oh, uh, and, and when a certain that took them in a certain uh, way in uh, a direction in, in history uh, that's parallel to our own. It's, it's a lot different to our own. So that if you think about our history, um, something changes uh, between ours and the fallout history we um, our, our technology and science and things went more into I guess computers uh, whereas there there's um, they went into nuclear fission and they went hundred and ten percent into that and it splinters in different ways if that makes sense but it's all also extremely fictional with loads of um, you know the fictional science that would never ever be based in reality either you know, so it is uh, it is wild and, and, and totally outside the realms of reality. But that's the premise. Anyway, that's the premise. And uh, we've only seen a couple of places as well in uh, America. Uh, and it's only ever been America as well. Nowhere outside of America. And um, we've also heard whispers and things about other places in, in, in uh, America as well. Even if we haven't seen them in game. So, um, yeah, it is pretty cool. It is a lot you can do with it as well. Uh, Physio, I enjoyed Westworld. Could be interesting. I haven't seen uh, past season two of Westworld, but season one and two I flipping loved. They were amazing. I really, really enjoyed both season one and two. I haven't seen any more, and it's been cancelled now, right? It's been cancelled. 
Uh, Gerald the Kind is dead, kid. Aha! I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. This kid gives me something really crap. Um... He, give, he says he'll fetch a nice price. I think it's in the miscellaneous tab. Has it not been added yet? Hold on. He gives you a plate or something. Where is it? I've got to turn that in as well. At least that doesn't weigh. Okay. It's got no weight because it's uh, a quest item. Okay. I swear he, he gives you a plate, like a dinner plate, but... Ah, oh, there you go, family heirloom. There we are. It's worth, Oh, it is worth 100 gold. And it only weighs 0 0.5. Okay, I'll, I'll take that, kid. Thank you. Considering I am uh, duped him into thinking I'm part of the Dark Brotherhood, that's cool. Right, I'm drained. We're going to need to uh, go and stay in the inn. Before we do anything. Um, where is the inn from here? I'm lost. Where, where the flip am I? Lydia, where are we? What's the hurry? Oh, I know, I know. I know where I am. We go down here and we take a right. There we go. There's the inn. Got all discombobulated there for a second. Uh, that's a lot of money for a kid. I know, right? He's an orphan as well. How did he... How did he end up with a family heirloom worth that much? Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese. I'm good, please. Thank you. Strange woman. Always creeps on me in this inn. Right, seven hours. Get rid of our drained uh, status, and then we're uh, good to go. Anything else you need? Cool. Uh, feeling refreshed. Nice. Right, let's um go off to. I, did I call it the Blue Palace earlier? That's um solitude. It's not the Blue Palace. Um, it's whatever the palace is called here. We'll go and see that guy, and uh, we'll we, we'll continue to wear the jagged crown as well, just to rub it in Ulfric Stormcloak's cloak's face. That'll be funny. Um, what am I? What am I being affected by now? It's probably peckish. There we are. Right, let's eat some dumplings. Why not? Satisfied. Apple pie. Well fed. There we go. All right, to the palace. If I can do this quest, because it's all within Windhelm, so we should be able to get this wrapped up before uh, we leave. Find this serial killer, and um, I think it might be connected to player housing, you know. It's either that this quest gives you the player housing, or you need to um, become Thane, which I don't think we'll be doing here, because uh, obviously we're an Imperial. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on Look what I got on my head, buddy. And what, would you what are you going to do about it? Eh? Huh? Look at my crown! Call yourself a Yarl, you don't even have a crown! Right, anyway, let's talk to this guy. I have heard about these murders! These are difficult times indeed. When men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. Fantastic, I'm a guard now. As much as I can as well. You heard him say it. I'm a guard. Let's go. Examine the crime scene. Okay, cool. Um. All right, we've got it. Uh, we've got it acted. Right, where are we going for this crime scene? Over here. I don't quite remember how to resolve this. I know you end up in a house. At the end of I think it's the house that you get as player housing actually. It's where a serial killer lives. Hey buddy. I'm a guard now. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. Those poor children must be heartbroken. Oh that was oh no, that wasn't me. That that definitely wasn't me. Uh your lift has granted me permission to aid in the investigation. Alright then. I noticed a trail of blood leading away from here. Helgard's taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. She's a little crazy. If she knows anything, it's dead bodies. Alright, cool. Talk to Helgard. Uh, 
Why is there a quest marker on here still? Right, where's this hell grid? Ah. Uh, up here. Hold on. Can I even get there this way? I think so. Hold on. Map. Help me. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's over this side. Alright, let's solve ourselves a, a Well, a serial murdering. Serial killing? A killer. A serial killer. Let's catch a serial killer. There we go. We got there. We got there in the end. I'm a cat. Um, where the flip am I going? Up here, I think. Ah. Um, I'm confused. This place is confusing to navigate. This way? Perhaps this way. That's, um... I'll, I'll, hang on. I've just spotted something. This here. This mark. You might see them dotted around, or similar ones at least. They're um, Thieves Guild marks. Um, they mean different things. They're usually like, oh, this has got valuables in, uh, let's rob it, and stuff like that. That's an actual Thieves Guild mark. Here we are, Hall of the Dead. Right, where's this, where's this lady? Lady? Yo, I'm a guard now. Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. All right, cool. I was told you were a bit weird, but you know. Uh, have you noticed anything strange about the body? Well, she's dead, but I guess that's not unusual. At least not for somebody in here. I mean, someone who's not me. That is. Sorry, was only joking with you. Uh. <laughs> uh. So the body. Yes, right, of course. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry. The unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. They look like they were made with... Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. Oh? I don't know who in Windhelm would even have something like that. <laughs> Other than me, of course. Um... <laughs> did you have anything to do with this? No. Uh, let me know if you find anything else. I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Now, I really got to get back to the body. A lot of work to prepare her for the grave. Okay. Uh, what's our next step? Have we got a... Have we got a lead? Uh, check the... Check the... Uh, oh, God damn it. Check the quest. Uh, examine the crime scene. I thought I did that. Or we can get assistance from uh, the guy in the palace again. Uh, how do I get out of here? Here we are. I thought I investigated the crime scene. I thought that was done. Maybe um, maybe that's why there was like a quest marker that wouldn't go away. Right, here's the crime scene. Best defense is a good defense. Oh. Am I right? What did you say? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention, dude. How do I... Oh. Uh, I can't investigate. What do you want? Oh, more blood. Okay. Oh, more blood. All right. Follow the blood, I guess. Oh, <laughs> more blood. Blood. Ah, okay. Uh, do I see any more? Oh, that's blood. That's definitely blood. Hmm. Very su- Oh, there, there's more over here. Right, okay. Oh, keep following the trail. Oh! Oh, now this is very suspect. Blood on the actual- What a- What a crap serial killer. Didn't even wash his steps afterwards. Didn't even- This is master locked. I think I should have- I've got 80 lockpicks. Okay, we can do this. I'm not going to burn through 80 lockpicks on a master lock, am I? Let's be fair. It's going to be difficult, but still, we'll get, we, can, we can get it. Oh, we're in. We got our foot in the door. Pun intended. Oh, that was super easy. I only burned through two picks. Nice. 
Look for clues. Right, blood. That's a clue. More blood. That's a clue. Ooh, blood on a chest. Looks like this box was pushed against the wall recently. Beware the butcher. Butcher journal. All right. The plans are coming together swimmingly. I've found good sources of bone, flesh, and blood. But thus far, a good sampling of sinew and marrow have escaped me. No matter. The city is swollen with contemptuous fools who will be missed by nobody. Last night, was almost a I was almost able to corner Susanna as she left Candlehearth. Idiot guard showed up at just the wrong moment and I had to turn about. Just out of the uh, for a stroll. And so forth. There will be another there will be other chances, but the time is drawing near. I think back to my time in Winterhold. All the wasted minds up in their towers. They ho only explore the magic. Winterhold. Oh I'm thinking yeah, okay. Uh, they already know. I am discovering new magic here. Something deeper than the uh, can can tip can shenanigans of fire and light. This flesh magic is older than us. Ah, yeah, I uh, mentioned something about this when we saw the face sculptor in Riften last week. There is, um, not officially, but there is, um, like kind of like an extra element, um, in the, uh, magic, uh, magic schools of, um, Sky uh, Valder Scrolls. I think Flash, um, there's certainly people have, like, investigated the possibility of Flash being an element in the past. Like, uh, the Shivering Isles DLC and Oblivion, um, there's mention of Flash, ma uh, manipulation in that. You even have to build, uh, a Flash Entrenoc, uh, as, p as part of the quest line in, um, uh, Shivering Isles. So, there is definitely a lot of, uh, mention and a lot of people have experimented with the possibility of flesh being uh, what, uh, another element in the Elder Scrolls and people who've even gone as far as manipulating flesh in magic. Um, this is uh, this guy is actually recent looks like he's practicing it um, but he's going about it by murdering people and, and using their bodies to experiment with them. Um, I think that it's possible that the face sculptor in Riften uses flesh magic to change your face. Um, that's just a theory, though. It's not outright confirmed ever. Uh, perhaps older than the world itself. I am tugging at the corners of the fabric of the universe. And where it branches and folds is where I shall create my greatest triumph. One more attempt at Candle Hearth Girl. She's providing to be a bit too cautious. But those strong joints of hers should contain the most exquisite tendons worth the effort tonight. Uh, that's it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's take that. That's evidence. That's evidence. What's this? Beware the Butcher. Beware the Butcher, the killer who haunts the streets of Windhelm. These calamitous times bring out the worst in people. Don't become the next victim. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behavior. Okay, I'm going to take one of them as a souvenir. Oh, I took all 11. Never mind. Oh, they were the clues? Follow up on the clues from Hirm. Hirm. Um, where are we going? Right, map. Consult the map. When in doubt, consult the map. Okay, we gotta leave. Okay, fine. Or, um. Alright. Follow up on the clues from here. Okay, let's just have a, keep looking around. Let's keep looking around. See if we can find out if this uh, murderer is still here. <coughs> Pardon me. We've got evidence now, though, right? We've got evidence. So surely we should just turn in the evidence. Saying that though, I don't know who actually lives here. Investigate wardrobe. Wardrobe seems to be nailed to the wall for some reason. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we found the we found the murder room. We found the creepy hidden murder room. Oh dear. Alright, okay, alright, alright, alright. Uh, H Hilda, please let me out of the creepy. Thank you. Oh, L Lydia, come on. Don't, don't keep me in there. Investigate small shelf. The shelf is filled with more of those butcher uh, flyers from around the city. One pile looks mishappened. Mishappened? Strange amulet. I'll take that. Hell yeah. What's that? Apparel. 
Uh, strange amulet. Ooh, it's it's worth a thousand gold. Cool. Uh, this perfectly good wardrobe was left behind for some reason. All right. Okay, upstairs. Let's have a look upstairs. <coughs> All right, no one's home. If we see anyone home, we're gonna arrest them. Cause I'm a cop. I mean a guard. I'm a guard. Oh, can I sleep here? Investigate bed and chairs. The chair is stacked on the bed in an odd fashion. Hmm. Alright. Very suspect. Very, very suspect. Very suspect indeed. Hmm. Alright. Okay. This, this guy doesn't even use his bed properly. He puts his chairs in his bed. That's not how you use a bed. Or woman, actually. It's no good to presume. It's no good to presume that the killer is male. We don't know that for sure. Oh. That's not how you use a bench. Okay. Nothing about this place adds up at all. Right. Um, I don't know what else we could do in this house. Maybe... Maybe we go and speak to uh, the guy in the palace again and turn in the evidence. I found the murder house. I found the murder house. I can I can tell him that much, and show them evidence. Let me just uh, have another quick look in the creepy murder room. See if there's anything I'm missing. Embalming tool. That's what they use to. Because uh, uh, the guy was like, uh, not the guy. Sorry, the girl in the um, hall of the dead. She was explaining that the cuts were made by uh, ancient Nordic embalming tools. So we found the murder weapons as well, potentially. What's this? Is there an, um, maybe a basement for this place? I haven't seen the trapdoor anywhere. Calm down, bony boy. Calm the flip down. Pots and pans. I don't want to think about what they're being used for. Because I haven't found a bathroom yet, so, you know, that's the closest thing I've found. Hilda! Jesus, where'd you come from? I swear there's more to this place, though. Right. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. What's the, uh, follow-up on the clues? What does that mean? What's follow-up on the clues mean? There's nothing on the, uh, map. Only to get assistance. Hmm. I don't know why I'm sneaking. No one's here. So, let's stop sneaking. Follow up on the clues. Hmm. <coughs> Who owns this residence? Arrest them. Alright, okay. Let's just leave. Can't see anything else in the house. Maybe it's updated now. Maybe there's another quest marker. Nope. Hmm. Okay, let's go and speak to uh, Matey in the palace. See what he has to say. I'll be like, look, dude. I found the I found the creepy murder room, and I found this evidence as well. Oh, this isn't the right way. God damn it. Whoa, what the hell? How did I get so spun around? Right, here we are. Bloody hell. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. Buddy. Uh, can you tell me anything about the butcher? Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. Ask her about it if you want an earful. Okay. Do you know what this amulet is? I've never seen anything like it. 
I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Cool. All right, we've got we've got some leads. We've got some leads. <laughs> Uh, where are we going now? Oh, okay. So, apparently they're both in the inn. That's handy. If they're both in one place. It must be, it must be like, time where everything closes. Perhaps that's why they're both in the inn. Uh, let me in, let me in. Uh, where are you? You! Hello. What can you tell me about the butcher? I've been following him for months now. Well, not actually following. Trying to find him. The guards won't help. The people won't help. I'm a guard. I'm the only one who thinks he can be caught. You've been at this for months, and I've spent, like, not even a day, and I've nearly found him. You suck. Um... Uh, how can the rest of the people not care? I found this poster in here in been trying to put those up around the city to warn people have them keep their eyes open but someone keeps taking them down i think you it's the killer the, the killer keeps hero? taking them down Frigga's old place let's Who? have a look around there i've got a feeling about this one no I don't you dare go looking around there it's too dangerous no wait 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 no no come back here i forbid you i'm a god Stop it! You're gonna get hit. Oh, she's gonna get murdered. She's gonna get murdered. Where's the other guy? You, quickly! Look, I've got a potential murder to prevent. Let's be swift about this. Do you know anything about this amulet? Let me see. Ah, yes. This is the wheelstone. It's an heirloom symbol of the power of wind. I recognize that guy behind you. Wasn't he? Wasn't he at the vampire dinner? Be interested in acquiring it, if you're willing to part with it. That is, for a piece like that, I could pay five hundred gold. Done. You have yourself a deal, sir. Wonderful. This will be a splendid addition to my private collection. Cool. Didn't I see you at the vampire banquet, buddy? I'm no hero. You know about Talos? He founded the empire. What do you say about Talos? You know that's illegal, don't you? It's illegal to worship Talos. Anyway, you. This better be good. You're a dawn guard? What are you doing here, buddy? Yes. You were definitely at the vampire banquet. 100%. You were there in your dawn guard. That's that's interesting. That's interesting. <clears throat> right, where are we going? We're going to the house again, right? Before that girl gets herself killed. Right. Uh, which way was it? Consult the map. Uh, this way. If she does get killed, can I eat her? What is it? Dragons? What? Did you say dragons? Oh, well, never mind. You! Be on the lookout. The butcher could be around any corner. Don't worry, I've got reflexes like a cat. Uh, incidentally. Because I am a cat, so you'll be safe with me. Ready to check out the house? Let's go. I'd rather not stay out here alone any longer than I have to. I don't blame you. You might get murdered. After what happened to those other women, I'm worried about my own safety. Right, lady, I've searched this house from top to bottom. Uh, what are you doing? Are you gonna? Women murder, time are you gonna do anything? Look, did you see this room? By the way, it's quite gruesome. Just FYI. Oh, I missed this earlier. Uh, this altar is built to some unknown magic. It looks like someone is using body parts towards some gruesome end. Um, tendons and assorted ligaments. Oh, sorry. 17 tendons and assorted ligaments. 173 fragments of bone for assemblage. Approximately four buckets full of blood. 
Nord preferred. Oh, this this person prefers prefers to uh, to collect Nord blood for some reason. Uh, six spoons of marrow, no more than two from a thigh. Twelve yards of flesh before cutting. Uh, start sc uh, scrying to the edge of the of the ice mind. Look to the lights where the souls dance, revealing the time when a spark will revive, when the rotted unites under most skillful hands. Translation from Aldmer Tax. As interpreted by the Aliads and first transcribed by Altma. Proven uh, proven provenance and authority unknown. Soon. Soon! Right, I'm taking that. That's more evidence. There's more evidence. I'm a cop. I mean, I'm a god. Um, right, okay. Okay, where's she gone? She better not be dead. No, she's out there. She's fine. Right, that's not sufficient enough evidence. I've got lots of evidence at this point. This guy was, uh, oh, girl, was, uh, playing around with flesh magic. Maybe, it's, oh, it's not the fla flesh sculptor. I know that much. If I didn't know better, though, I'd be I'd be very uh, suspicious of the flesh sculptor in Riften. Right, what have you got to say for yourself? Sounds like the court mage has been experimented. It's the court mage? Woundforth. There have been rumors swirling about him for years. As long as I can remember. But he's a dangerous man. That's why they call him the unliving. Oh. I wouldn't approach him directly. Interesting. This Richard, needs to I think my nana has this steward. recipe in the cookbook He'll too. Listen to you. <laughs> Richard. She says, Nord blood is just better for the flavor. <laughs> uh, you guys are on fire tonight. You really are. <clears throat> right, okay. Ooh, look. Another Thieves Guild mark in there. Thieves Guild. They've been uh, planning uh, planning out thievery. Uh, th thieving and, and, and thievy stuff. Good old uh, uh, Robin. Rob, rob burglary burglary and and shenanigans you've been up to it right is this the palace here's the palace let's confront the court wizard and arrest him because we're a cop so oi buddy i know who it is i believe the killer is wound firth the unliving that's quite an accusation I assume you have proof. Yes, I've got I've got evidence of necromancy and found his amulet, which I actually sold. Whoops. I don't want to believe it. Wundfirth has been a trusted friend to Ulf for many years. It pains me to see that the whispers had truth to them. Wundfirth shall be apprehended. I thank you for your diligence in getting to the bottom of this. Sir, I, it appears as though your meal is dancing. Oh, I want to be here for this. Are we, are we gonna are we gonna arrest are we gonna arrest this guy let's go I'm a cat where are you off to oh good good idea let's get some more guards now now there's two of us good idea oh let me get my clothes ready just in case he wants to throw hands I'll throw hands I'm peckish. Hold on, before we do any arresting, let me just have a snack. Can't can't do arresting on an empty stomach. That's guarding 101, that is. They teach you that first day of guard school. <coughs> no being a guard on an empty stomach. Right, where'd you go? Where'd you go, guys? Come on, guys. What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. You want me to do this on my own? I'm I think I'm qualified. I've been a guard for nearly a whole day now. I'm qualified for this. Ooh, hold on. That's uh, that's actually quite important. Let's take that. I haven't. That's the first one I've found. Okay, interesting. Uh, where's everyone else? Where where's the suspect? I'm in his office. He doesn't appear to be here. Maybe he did a run. Oh, here we are. I've got him. I've got him, guys. Guys, I've got him. Let's arrest him. I can't arrest him. Apparently he's too busy to be arrested. Oh, here they come. It's fine. 
Go take your time. Sweet roll! Sweet roll, you're preventing justice! Sweet roll, get out the way! Right. Oh, Jesus, I got physics by something. Something physics to me. Oh, we've got we've got a hell of a mess here, haven't we? Whoever built this castle made these corridors too narrow. Bony boy, now you're in the way. Every everyone get out the flipping way. Bony boy. Um I got a plan. I got a plan. Ready? I've got a plan. Right. Bone wolf. Come here. Oh, they got through. It's fine. It's fine. Wait, I want to be here for the arresting. I'm a, I'm a guard. You're under arrest, buddy. Has the whole city lost their brains? I've been scrying and auguring to find the murderer myself. Make your excuses from the bloodworks. Uh, he might not be the murderer. My sight. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to come with me. This isn't over, your life. Were we wrong? Was I wrong? Maybe I was wrong. I feel like I was wrong. Dude, did we get the wrong guy? <laughs> Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. And that was unnecessary. I'm a god. Just like you. Let's be friends. <laughs> Confrontation! Can't be arresting on an empty stomach. <laughs> this game is good words to live by. Sweet roll, if you justice. Uh, yeah, you kind of beefed it. Um, I don't know, he, I mean, look, right? If he, if he was a killer, what would he say if, uh, when confronted with arrest? He'd be like, I'm not the killer, you're crazy. So it checks out. It checks out. We've Can I talk to him? He's still busy. We know the price what about, um, where's your lift gone? Your lift. Do you have anything to say? I think they're escorting him to a prison cell. You're going the wrong way. They're over there. How many of their sons and daughters follow your Who are you? I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. Alright, fair enough. Fair dues. Why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. I love how we turn all this and I'm just wandering around wearing this jagged crown that uh, Ulfric wants. Just right in front of him. I'm like, yep, I'm wearing this crown. Fuck you. Where did they take the guy? Oh, there they are. Is that them? I think they're still escorting him. He should be in the cells now, right? Oh, I lost them. Oh, down here. There he is. And justice is served. Potentially. Maybe. Hopefully. It's potentially the wrong one, but never mind. Someone got arrested. I guess we'll find out, right? If the murders continue, then... Uh, I guess we fucked up. But until then... Let's get out of here. What an accurate response to your question. It, <laughs> it was, wasn't it? I was like, who are you? And he's like, I do the cooking. It was almost like he heard me. Wait. What if he heard me? Alright, let's get out of here. I don't want to be too... I don't want to be in too close proximity with Ulfric Stormcloak uh, for too long. Because uh, I'm an Imperial Legion cat now. Fuck the Snor Stormcloaks. If, uh, if it wasn't just me, if I wasn't alone, I would arrest him and take him to be executed all properly this time. He was lucky last time that Alduin showed up. So was I, to be fair, though. Because I'd be dead right now if it wasn't for that. Uh, right, what we got? How is, uh, how is our stats right now? Uh, wrong thing. Active quest. Uh, we're we're all right. We're all right for now. Um, I don't need to take a rest. 
It is night time though. I'm gonna get seven hours anyway. May as well. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be peckish at least when I wake up then. Um, we did plan to do the white file next, but uh, let me let me see how we're doing for time first. I'm peckish. That's fine. We can sort that out. Um, why am I carrying butter? Chicken dumpling. Well fed. There we go. Right. How are we doing for time, guys? Um. Uh, I think. I know we had. Uh, <laughs> he's the killer. Uh, we sure looked home with the cook. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. We did plan. We did plan to go and start the white file. Um, I want to get... Not that. Uh, there it is. The white file. I want to avo avoid the uh, seducers and the saints bandit camps. Because that's quite a lengthy quest. We don't want to get involved in that. And we've done it before as well. So there's no need to really. I want to do the white file though. Because that's got an interesting reward tied to it. Once you do the first part of this anyway... Um, you get uh, an extension of this quest where um, the guy repairs the thing and uh, you get to choose um, an infinite potion that contains either health. I, I, I think it's health, stamina or magicka. You get to choose one of them. And I think they throw in skill potions in the mix there as well. I can't quite remember. I've only done it the one time. Um, so that might be worthwhile. Uh, being as we're in the ne this neck of the woods as well up in Windhelm. Um, but, um, we got massively sidetracked again today, um, as is, uh, the style in Skyrim, I guess. Uh, because what I want to do, I want to get, um, some progress made on the Companions quest. Um, we do have this now as well for Mayroon's Razor, and we can recruit Barbus down here as well, uh, to make progress with, um, some more of the Daedric Artifact quest lines. Because I... It's not a hugely important thing. Um, I didn't set out to do it initially, but it would be nice to collect every Daedric artifact if we can. Um, but the main task is um, starting the Dawn Guard DLC, because uh, we haven't done that on stream as of yet. Um, we're getting close to filling the were Werewolf uh, Perk Tree. I would, I would preferably like to do that first, though. Um, but we did get a little, uh, by a little, that's a bit of an understatement. We did get massively sidetracked with some of the quests that we had to do today, though. Um, give me one moment, guys, okay? I'm sorry about this. I just need to dash off for just a moment, okay? I'll be back in a second. Hey oh, sorry about that. I apologize. But uh yeah, we did uh we did make some progress towards some things today. Um saw a lot of stuff that we've never done with any of our, our Skyrim playthroughs on stream anyway. Um and ended up uh doing a nice little murder mystery there at the end. I uh, bumped into a <laughs> a, a, a deadly dinner party with a vampire ambush today as well. That was interesting. I've never seen that player housing before. That's obviously an extra, which comes with either special edition or uh, probably, if I were to guess, is probably part of the Creation Club stuff that's included in Anniversary Edition. Um, it's a really cool player housing, actually, but uh, not the greatest location on the map, unfortunately. It would be a bit of a, a, a nuisance to travel to and from that player housing. But it, it was a great player housing. Nonetheless, had everything that you need there. Um, but there's a lot of them dotted around the map now with um, the uh, uh, the extra an uh, additions that are, are available from the uh, vanilla Skyrim. So um, that's not a problem. We'll find another one. We'll find another one. And we've got a decent enough home anyway um, in Golden Hills. So um, and I can afford the, play uh, the player homestead outside of Whiterun as well. So uh, it's not 
too big of a deal, I guess. It was nice to see extra content, I guess, and see something that we never done before. That's the main take from it, anyway. That's the main take from it. Um, I've got some special mentions that uh, say today, okay? Um, no fucks given. Uh, <laughs> amazing name, by the way. I love it. Uh, I know I couldn't work it out at first, but it's a great name nonetheless. Thanks for the follow today. I really appreciate that. And uh, thank you to uh, thank you to Cumin for the raid as well. But uh, thanks to everyone out there. We got another really good crowd today on a Monday as well of all days. Um, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time more than anything. Okay, I say this every time I know, but uh, it doesn't make it any less true. I really appreciate all your time that you spend here with me. Uh, watching me play video games and uh, I really hope you enjoy yourselves as well because I certainly do uh, Toothfix, thank you. Thanks Toothfix. Cheers, buddy and uh, Toothfix got a shout out, right? Definitely I'm pretty sure he did I tell you what it wouldn't hurt to give you another one Toothfix. So let's get you another one, buddy I know physio was on top of uh, was on top of him earlier Just in case can't hurt to give you another one there you go, buddy. Smooth Johnson, what's up, dude? Oh, no, I'm late. Sorry, buddy. We are wrapping up. Don't worry, though. We're going to raid out. And we're going to uh, we're gonna go and find one of our friends now and uh, share this good crowd that I've, I've been blessed with again this evening. So uh, thank you all. Thank you all. But I'm sorry, Smooth Johnson. How are you doing, buddy? Happy Big Monday. Thanks for coming along. All right, let's get you a shout-out as well, dude. Is it painful? It hurts quite a bit. Oh. Awesome, Elden Ring clip. Oh, <laughs> those those Iron Virgin things are a pain in the ass. Can someone clip that actually? Always oh, thought, oh, is that bit where you fight two of them as well? That bit's horrendous. Two in two in one go is just is. Elden Ring likes to do that a lot though. I found they kind of um, they kind of throw you in a fight with two really, really um annoying enemies to fight anyways but when there's two of them together they do that a lot they've got a real bad habit of doing that that i found yeah um where where was i sorry i've lost my place painful hurts quite a bit thank you for the shout out no problem to fix you get uh you know uh, you always get a shout out around here it's the least i can do for you uh same with you smooth johnson as well no need to thank me guys i'll uh i'll give you a uh, shout out whenever you're around these parts the least I can do for you guys. Smooth Johnson, hope you had a great stream. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Thanks for asking. We did, um, we got massively sidetracked today. We've got ourselves some goals for this character that we set at the beginning of the adventure. And, um, it's become quite, uh, quite a common occurrence now that we just like, ooh, what's over there? <laughs> we just get sidetracked completely. But we did end things on a murder mystery, which was cool. We potentially arrested the wrong person, though. I guess we'll never know. Um, and we stumbled across, uh, well, we, we came across like a, a, a dinner party that we were invited to. And it turned out to be a vampire ambush. That was fun. So, yeah, it was all in all, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Got a few, um, got a, 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 another Daedric artifact in our collection as well. Because uh, if I can, I would like to collect all of them. I think there's 15 in total. I'm not sure how many we got left. Um, we've made, pro we're making progress with, um, most of them though if not uh out of the ones we haven't got so that's uh that's always a bonus yeah thanks for asking dude right um let's have a look who's knocking about tonight who's online who's our friends online um do you know what i've got a person in mind hmm Okay, um, I've, I've never been live in this person's uh, chat before, okay? So I think this is a perfect time to remedy that. And uh, I'm going to give him a quick shout out uh, before, we, uh, before we do the raid. Because uh, that way then, if anyone gets lost uh, during the raid, uh, you'll know where we are so you can uh, come and catch up with us. Let me minimize this so I can do this properly. Sorry, shambles. Uh, let's do this properly, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I I know this person. I want to say through uh, Goop. I think I met them in Goop's chat, 
and I followed them there. So um, this is where we're going. Okay, they're currently playing Shenmue A3. Uh, here we are. I've never, I've never uh, been in their chat live, so this is a really good chance to uh, to sort that out. Oh, there we go. Shenmue clip he's as gone. well. He's just, he's just not there. I've uh, interacted with uh, he went to the shadow, with this right? person uh, a few times in in, in other other people's chats, he's and they they nice. seem very very nice so uh be nice to them okay i'm sure you will be i'm sure you'll be on your best behavior anyway uh if you do have to dash i totally understand by the way but do try and hang around if you can because uh we're gonna raid out now and uh that's where we're going um right let me just set that up real quick okay we'll get that locked and loaded and then uh uh, I'll say my goodbyes proper before we pull the trigger though, don't worry, okay? So that's uh, set up and ready to go. Um, right, okay. So, um, if you follow me on Twitter, which is down here, my credentials down here, uh, it's Mecha Mayfly at, Twi at Mecha Mayfly on Twitter. If you follow me there, you already know what's coming up this week, because I posted something up over the weekend. Um, I tried to post up something nice, because, uh, it's better than just looking at a tweet that's just typed out with my schedule. So I put that together. It's not amazing, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, it's uh, the schedule for this week. So if you follow me on Twitter, you know what's coming up. Um, but I'll be back on Wednesday now, which is, incidentally, it's uh, St. David's Day on Wednesday. And St. David's is a patron saint of Wales. So uh, I hope you join me for that because we'll be playing uh, Me Metal Gear Rising again. I almost said Mecha Gear Rising then. Uh, we'll be jumping back into that because it was such a blast. I'd totally forgotten how fun that game was because I haven't played that in years. Um, and I thought, you know, it's the 10th anniversary, so it's prime, prime time to fire it back up. And oh my god, it blew me away. That game is so hype. It's so ridiculously hype. So I'm going to jump back into that and carry on on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be starting at uh, 6 p.m. UK time as per usual. If it helps anyone out there, that's going to be 1 p.m. Eastern, if that do help. And uh, if you like the sound of that, I hope to see you there. Um, thanks to everyone who came to hang out today as well, okay? Um, I also, um, speaking about, about Twitter, um, let, me, let me boot that up a second, because uh, let me just check how many days are left. Uh, there's four, I've got a t uh, poll up on Twitter at the moment um, for the next Fallout game that we're going to play. Um, there was a lot of discussion about Fallout today, which was amazing. I loved it. Um, I'm going to bring back Fallout Fridays very, very soon. But uh, I'm running a poll at the moment which contains Fallout 3, Fallout 4, or Fallout 76. If you, um, would, like me to, if you would like to see me play one of them, uh, follow me on Twitter. And uh, put your vote in on the poll. At the moment, there is a distinct winner, okay? Uh, there's four days left, though. There is four days left, but there's some... Uh, one of them is far ahead of the others. Um, the day I put it up, though, they were tied. And I was getting very, very nervous that I might have to make a decision myself. That I might have to make an executive decision. But uh, if you want to put your input in there and see um, me play uh, a Fallout game that you want to see, um, jump on Twitter. And uh, put your vote in. It's pinned on my uh, on my profile on there. Okay, it's the pinned tweet. And um, also, if you want to know what's coming up, uh, if you want to keep up to date, I generally try my hardest to um, uh, put all updates and things on there, uh, so you know what's going on. If uh, uh, I'm running late or if I change a day or anything of that nature, um, I put up my schedule now as well. I think I'm going to do what I did this week every week um, with. Uh, uh, what's coming up through the week, the, the next week. So um, you can also communicate with me there if you want to, if you want to suggest anything, uh, if you want to uh, just chat <laughs> generally, or even if you want to call me a dickhead, it's fine. I'm, I got thick skin. It's not a problem at all. Uh, that's the best way you can interact with me, though, is right there uh, at Mecha Mayfly on Twitter. okay? But there's all my credentials down there as well. You know, shameless plug over. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'll be back on Wednesday now, and uh, I hope to see you there. I look forward to it. Uh, thank you once again, guys. Um, have a great week, okay, until we meet up again on hump day. Uh, I hope your uh, week's going well so far uh, on your big Monday, and you had a great uh, weekend as well, just gone. Uh, I'm going to pull the trigger on this raid now, okay? There we go. Raid's been created. And, uh, right, let me jump in uh, the chat again just to be ready. Don't worry, that tab's muted. 
Right, okay. Countdowns are over now, okay? So as soon as I pull this trigger, we're out of here. Thank you once again, everyone. Take care of yourselves, okay? But also take care of each other. That's really important, too. We've got to have each other's backs, okay? So uh, peace out from me. Good night. Nostar. Bye-bye.